You want to be rich in Stardew Valley so you can buy a golden clock for 10 million gold. I mean, who wouldn't want a clock made from gold? Oh, you do want one? Okay, good. Then let's get started. One of the easiest ways to increase your profit in Stardew Valley is by diversifying your farm's money-making mechanisms. You could go all out on a single thing, but that would be soul-draining, so it is important to have many streams of revenue on your farm. But what should we be doing? What sells for a good amount? What is worth our efforts? It would be a shame if we spend tons of hours on something that brings us bad results, like trying to invest in fairy dust for example. So I quickly constructed this table. Here you will find some of the items that sell for the most amount of gold in the game. But that is not really useful on its own. So I've added the difficulty level of obtaining these items. Treasure chest and tiger slime eggs for example sell for a very impressive amount of gold but they are very hard to obtain. If you find one of these then you are extremely lucky. This means it would be a very bad idea to actually try and invest in these. A lot of work for a small reward. Instead, we should focus on these items. They will make you rich. With a little bit of work and some guidance, you can maximize your farm with these money-making items and literally print money. Let's get started with the one that you might not expect, banana jelly. Fruit trees in Stardew Valley have never really been seen as big money makers, but they can be, especially if we use banana trees. It makes the most sense to plant these on your ginger island farm, then they will produce bananas all year round. Every single day, a banana will be ready for harvest. If you do not harvest it that day, it will stay there and stack up to three bananas. This is a blessing in disguise because preservation jars take exactly three days to turn fruit into jelly. So all you need to do is craft three preservation bins per banana tree. Then every three days, drop those bananas into the preservation bins and collect the newly processed banana jelly. Every three days, each banana tree will make 1,500 gold. If you have 10 trees like I do, in a single season, you can make 150 thousand gold. It's not that much, but this takes basically no effort. It's free money, so why not? However, the next items are polar opposites. They are big money makers. This next technique is considerably better in comparison. Fairy Rose Honey. Each Fairy Rose Honey will sell for 950 gold. And if you place these bee houses on your Ginger Island farm with a Fairy Rose planted near them, you will produce this valuable honey the entire year. Every four days, all you need to do is run through your bee house collection and be rich. As an added bonus, we are placing these bee houses on a spot on Ginger Island that cannot be used for anything else. This is a very efficient use of space that can and will make you rich. I have close to 200 bee houses here on my Ginger Island farm, meaning I can make around 200,000 gold every four days. That is 1.4 million gold every season. This is how my entire layout looks. It might not be the neatest, but it does work. It is time to have a hard discussion. A discussion about starfruit wine. Regular starfruit wine with the artisan profession will sell for 3,150 gold. When you age your starfruit wine, it will increase in value. Iridium quality starfruit wine sells for 6,300 gold. That's a lot, right? That is sure to make us rich, right? Wrong. I am not afraid to say it. Aging your wine is just not worth it. It's kind of a waste of time to be honest. Why? Well, it takes two entire seasons to age your wine all the way up to iridium quality. That is 56 in-game days. To actually create the wine, it'll take 13 days for the starfruit to grow and then 7 days to process these crops into wine, totaling to 20 days. 20 days after you plant your starfruit seeds, you will get some wine that can sell for 3000 gold. While your starfruit is busy aging in kegs in your basement for 2 entire seasons, you will not make any money. This delays when you will get the gold by 2 seasons. 
instead of aging your wine, just sell it right away and then use the gold you made to buy more seeds because your second batch of wine will be ready before your wine is fully aged. And your third batch will also be ready before your wine is fully aged. That is just how long it takes to age wine. In Stardew Valley, there's an infinite demand because the bin doesn't care what you sell. It'll always buy it. All you need to do is produce goods at a good rate. And you'll be rich. Redem wine is just not fast enough. There may be some arguments about which crop to actually plant, star fruit or ancient fruit. Ancient fruit is great, it grows for three entire seasons, it sells well and it regrows its crops every seven days, meaning it's an incredibly profitable crop that you should definitely invest in. The only problem with ancient fruit is that there's no easy way to get ancient fruit seeds. You will have to grow a single ancient fruit and when it bears fruit, you will need to discard them and turn those into seeds. It can take a while to get your ancient fruit plantation up and running, but when you do, it is so worth it. Because of this, I actually just prefer star fruit because you can just buy seeds from Sandy in the desert. But both work, so choose whichever you prefer or just use both. Now you might think I'm crazy here, but I have tested this and I can with full confidence confirm that this is an actual good way to make gold in this game. Do you know in the early game, fishing can make you tons of gold? Well, it turns out that you can also fish for riches in the mid to late game. All you need is an iridium fishing rod, some wild bait. If you have a curiosity lure, use that. Otherwise, use your favorite fishing tackle and most importantly, really good fishing skills then head over to floor 100 in the regular mines or fish by the forge in the volcano dungeon and catch as many lava eels as you can get there as early as possible and spend the entire day fishing fish till you can't fish no more i did this and almost caught 40 lava eels in a single day. With the angler profession, I managed to make 60,000 gold off of a single day of fishing. 60,000 gold! If you fished the entire day, every single day, you would make 1.6 million gold in a single season. There is no denying it, fishing for lava eels is incredibly lucrative. And lastly, pigs and truffles. These are the easiest and one of the most profitable decisions you can make on your farm. Every single day, each pig should produce an average of one truffle if there is space for them to find it. But if you max out your friendship with your pig, each pig can produce three truffles. That is 3,750 gold per pig per day. It is unreal. It is too easy. Even if you aren't going for multi-millions, a couple pigs pigs on your farm will set you for life. Pigs are too good, it kind of feels like cheating. Get some pigs. What do you usually do that makes you big money in Stardew Valley? Let me know, I'm always keen to learn more. But for now, I will see you in the next video.